It's a Saturday and I'm at home, but I'm not taking a break from this foreclosure fight. You see, I sense a critical shift in the air. We turned away from the borrowers being the villains in this foreclosure drama, and now the popular press, the media, the general public understands what myself and other activists have been saying for a very long time, and that is the real villains in this fight are the banks, the Wall Street fraudsters, the con artists, and the lawyers that are abusing the court process, abusing Floridians all across the state of Florida. You know, for months we've been calling on the uh, candidates for attorney general to speak to this issue, to weigh in on this very important fight. This morning I'm calling specifically on Representative Gelber. Dan Gelber is running for the attorney general of Florida, and I believe this candidate is best positioned to take on this fight in a very strong and very assertive way. You know, our current attorney general is Bill McCollum. He's a Republican. He's investigating most of the foreclosure mills that are operating in the state of Florida, and he's to be commended for that. Our next attorney general needs to pick up that fight and continue with that. Now, I think Dan Gelber is the candidate that is best positioned at that because he's got a strong background in rooting out public corruption. And that's exactly what is at stake here. The corruption that has swept across this state, started up in New York City, made its way down into Washington, D.C., waved all across the state and all across this country, and now it's firmly rooted here in the state of Florida. Representative Gelber, do you want to know how you're going to become the next Attorney General of the state of Florida? It's when you stand up in a very public and assertive way and say that when you are the Attorney General in Florida, you're going to root out the fraud that has made its way all across the state of Florida and sits right in the courtrooms all across the state. You're going to look the reporters and the television cameras straight in the face, and you're going to tell the citizens of the state of Florida that when you're Attorney General, lawyers will be held to high ethical standards. All of the corporations and businesses that are here in the state of Florida are going to have to register in the state of Florida with the Secretary of State. They're going to have to prove their right to be conducting business in the state of Florida, to be filing these foreclosure suits all across the state of Florida. And when there are foreclosure judgments entered in courtrooms, the Attorney General is going to be looking over all of those judgments because no longer will we allow these foreclosure mills to be signing judgments and signing evidence and filing these in the courtrooms because the, they're, they're no longer could be trusted. Your Representative Gilbert, you know, it's disappointing that Pam Bondi has backed out of the debate that was scheduled to be held. But when my uncle ran for Congress not too many years ago and his uh, opponent failed to show up, he did something very clever. He had one of the campaign staffers dress up in a six foot tall chicken costume and he argued with that chicken in a parking lot. Well, Representative Gelber, this is what I'm calling on you to do. You tell me a parking lot anywhere in the state of Florida, and you have me there. I'll dress up in a chicken costume, and I want you to debate with me. If your opponent won't debate with you, then you debate with a chicken in a parking lot. I guarantee you this will raise the profile of the campaign. It'll crystallize the issues. It'll tell every Floridian that you're not afraid to argue. You're not afraid to stand up for what's right, to debate these issues, that you're going to be a strong and assertive force when you are the Attorney General. I guarantee you that press all across the state from Pensacola to Key West to Miami is going to pick up on this because this issue is mortgage fraud affects every single Floridian. This is not just about those people who are defendants in foreclosure cases. This is about every single Floridian because it affects our property values. It affects the security and stability of our neighborhoods. It affects our community associations and our condominium associations. And here's another important thing we need to keep in mind. When we bring our condominium associations, our community associations, onto our side of the battle, and we help them to understand that when we're able to defeat these foreclosure cases, our homeowners Association step into priority and they get the fees that the neighbors would frankly justifiably pay to their homeowners association, then we bring these important and powerful forces onto our side of the battle. Representative Gelber, I want you to make this issue yours. I want you to stand up and say that when you are the Attorney General, you're going to demand a moratorium on foreclosures all across the state of Florida. I think it's coming whether you demand it or not, but I think it'll be a very powerful statement for you to make that, to stand up for Floridians and stand up for what's right in this state. We look forward to supporting your campaign, and I look forward to a strong message from you coming out from you and your campaign staff. Make this personal. Get out there and fight for us, and good luck in the campaign.